Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it is going to be kind of like my last video, a little bit of a haul. Um, I've been just like shopping my heart out <laughs> and my wallet's not very happy with me, but I'm happy. I, I love makeup guys. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get into all the goodies that I have purchased the last like two weeks or so. And I'm going to give you some quick reviews and like how I feel about the products and how they have worked for me. So if you like that kind of content, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe before you leave because I got a lot of really good stuff coming your way. So let's jump into the goodies. So starting off, my daughter actually made a purchase for Alter Ego. I've never tried the brand. I've been very curious about them because obviously they do higher end brands, Natasha Denona and such. So I wanted to see how their formula was compared obviously to the super higher end brand. So she ordered <laughs> two palettes. We have the Artemis palette right here and the shadow kiss palette right here and i'm gonna go ahead and open them up the packaging their packaging is the same as how the actual palette itself does look and i have okay so i'm trying to get ahead of myself okay this right here is the artemis palette super cute super cute i love this green i think it's beautiful on the back, it does say the shade names. It has a uh, 12 month shelf life. It has net weight 28 grams. And it's made in the PRC. It has 28 shadows. And you open it up. It does have a nice mirror. But this right here is the palette. This is a gorgeous gorgeous color story as you can see i have dipped into several of the shades so far my experience with this palette alone it is a buildable formula you don't get straight immense pigment right from the get-go you do build it up which to me that is a beginner friendly palette so the shimmers i'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple of the shimmers so you can see those are gorgeous absolutely stunning shimmers I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of the deeper ones Oops. well that one kind of messed up because of me but the shimmers alone they're very very pretty I think all together this formula is very nice like i said buildable the shimmers are they're not going to be super huge metallic in your face but absolutely gorgeous so this artemis palette it is supposed to do a natasha denona starts with an m i know it starts with an m i can't remember the name of the palette anyways so far this palette i would definitely recommend it I think it's gorgeous. I really do. And I love the color story of it. Okay. And then we have the Shadow Kiss palette right here. Again, it has the, all the shades on the back. This one has a net weight of 15 grams. And you open this beautiful palette up. Look how stunning. <sighs> now, this palette right here, this is supposed to dupe the Natasha Denona Glam palette, I believe. It's like neutral, cool tone, which I am falling in love. Like, I seem to be reaching a lot for cool tones and like straight neutral tones. So, this is the palette I am wearing today on my eyes. I love it. This is a very shimmer heavy palette. You have one, two, three, four. You have five mattes and the rest are shimmers. So, I like that. I prefer to have different variations with my shimmers because I believe that's what really makes a look. 
I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these. I have not experienced anything of patchiness or anything. I believe that these blend great. This right here is some of the shimmers. I mean, just look at those. They really are breathtaking. If you are into cool tones, neutrals, this is a great palette. And I think this palette was maybe 15 bucks, something like that. Don't quote me. But I, I believe it was like 15 bucks. And then the Artemis palette was $22. So super, super affordable. And you get, I mean, look at these gorgeous shades. Look how stunning they are. So I definitely recommend first impressions of this brand. Again, Alter Ego. Very good. Very good quality all the way around. With Alter Ego, I was looking at their dupe of the gold palette now that Natasha Denona has discontinued her gold palette, but it is sold out. A lot of the palettes on Alter Ego right now are sold out, but if you find a color story that interests you, I would definitely check them out. I really would. So up next, I have been getting into Poshmark and Macari a lot more. I found a seller and she had a couple palettes that I was very interested in. So I picked up the Natasha Denona Mini Zendo palette, which I do not have any of her mini palettes. Well, these, these very mini palettes, but this one, I, I love this color story. This is something I would truly grab and hurry up, make a quick look. It's going to end up beautiful no matter what and go. So I really, I really like this palette. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. Of course, it's got the Natasha Denona quality. Always beautiful, always stunning. And I'm very happy that I got this palette. So this right here are the swatches. Hopefully you can see these here. They're a little, this one definitely is a little light on my skin tone. But, I mean, this, this is beautiful. And I'm so happy I picked it up. I know some of these, they're not like the brand new palettes. But they are what have been on my wish list. So, I figured I would share them with you guys. Up next, we have Triumph of Venus by Muse Beauty. I believe they... I can't remember what they renamed themselves. But I'm pretty sure they now have a new name. Um, this one here, definitely a trend, neutrals and cooler tones. Absolutely. This color story, I don't know what it is. It, it's different. It just is. And it, it speaks to me. I love it. And this shimmer shade right here, Storm. Oh my gosh. Guys, this, oh my gosh. So good. <laughs> I just I can't right now. I am I don't know what's going on with me. I have been buying up some stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but I love it. I love that it has like this deep, rich, rich black. I love that it has this really sky blue. And then you got like this brick shade. I love it. I love this color story. I think it is definitely one that I will grab for over. And then we have the Hocus Pocus palette. Now I know this came out, what, two years ago now? I had to get my hands on it. I did. I love Hocus Pocus. It is truly one of my favorite movies during Halloween time and any time, honestly. I just love it. I love the packaging. It does have the shade names on the packaging. The packaging, guys. Oh, so good. This is the Gather Round Sisters palette. Look at how stunning. This color story is so deep and grungy and just oh, speaks to me. It really does. It speaks to me. This shade right here. Ooh, so good. See, I'm not one of those people who like, oh, this is a fall palette. This is a winter palette. I wear everything anytime I feel like it. <laughs> Whatever speaks to me at the time, I just wear it. I forgot to wipe off the other swatches. My bad. <laughs> okay, so right here are these two. 
are these two shimmers right here. So good. The, of course, it's ColourPop. The quality is always good. Go ahead and swatch the greens. So I had to pick it up. I have been waiting. When it came out the first time, I was like so upset that I missed it. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, well now it's kind of an older palette. I want to score it on a deal. So I did, and now I'm very happy. Next up, this is another discontinued palette. I got the Wilderness Palette by Beauty Bay. This has been discontinued by Beauty Bay. Very, very hard to find. This palette is very hard to find. And when you do find it on Poshmark or Mercari, they want, I mean, crazy ass money for this. Don't do that, guys. Don't try to, like, kill people. People are wanting, like, I mean, obscene amount of money for these palettes that got discontinued. Come on. You paid a small fraction for them. Don't try to up the price by 100 plus percent, guys. That's insane. Anyways, I found a, a buyer, or excuse me, I found a seller who was very reasonable. They weren't trying to slay me with their prices. But I did finally pick it up. It's by Beauty Bay. And again, the Wilderness Palette. And it's made in the PRC. This one, let me see here. It's good for 12 months. Sure it is. We always keep them well over that. I don't see. Oh, here it is. Net weight is 20 by 14 grams. So, this color story. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This palette, oh my gosh, the reds, the greens, the, the blues. I mean, everything about this palette is just mesmerizing. The shimmers, oh my gosh, these shimmers. The one thing I have noticed though, the shimmers, they are absolutely beautiful. But as you wear them, they kind of, they don't lose their pigment but I don't know something about them. They just don't look as good as when you first put them on. Do you see how just like metallic and sparkly these are? How they wear on me, they just, by the end of the day, they, they don't look as fresh as they do right this second. So I don't know what's up with that. Like they still wear, it's not like they disappear, but they just don't wear as well. I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. They just don't look the same. But sometimes I just don't have words. And that is very, very strange for me because I talk. Anyways, great color story. Great color story. Super happy I got this palette. It is kind of a larger palette. Now, there are some products that I'm not going to go super in-depth with because I do want to do its own video. You'll see more what I'm talking about as we go on. Anyways, if you haven't heard, Fenty Beauty is now at Ulta. Ah! So, <laughs> I stopped up at Ulta and I got two products by Fenty. I got the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer in Soft Silk. I did get like the smaller one. It is, let me see here, good for 12 months and it is 15 milliliters. It looks like this. This stuff feels so good. I am like, I probably am going to end up picking up the full size one. Looks like this. And as you just rub it in, it's like, it is so silky. The name is like spot on for this. It feels super hydrating, super silky, and just, oh, it feels like I'm at the spa when I'm putting this on. That's how good this stuff feels. I haven't really noticed anything really different with my makeup, but it just, it makes everything feel so soft and silky. I just, I absolutely adore it just for that reason alone. Again, haven't noticed really much of any difference with my makeup lasting any longer or anything, but I don't know if it's really for that purpose. Moving on, I have the Matchstick 
by Fenty Beauty. I got the shade Amber 01. And this has 7.10 grams, sorry. And this right here is the packaging. I do like the packaging of this. It's very simple. I did, it comes like this. My daughter did get a hold of this already. But this is definitely more for contouring. It's right here. And I, I do have it on today. I have noticed definitely using a brush works a lot better than a sponge. Like a super dense brush. You can either run the brush up against the product itself or draw it on. And then obviously, you know, pat it out with a brush. But I didn't like it with a sponge. I do like it better with a brush. But I love how it looks once it's on, buffed out. I think it looks very natural. And as you see, it's just, it's effortless. So I really like these products by Fenty. I really, I did get a, what is it? A Gloss Bomb Heat. I got the shade Hot Cherry 01. This stuff, those make your lips look so juicy. Oh my gosh. So juicy. I'm not sure where it's at right now. Because I have been using it quite a bit. I'm not sure. I did pick up this primer by Wet n Wild. It's the Impossible Primer. It says the one silicone free primer that does it all. It's got 25 milliliters. 25 milliliters, sorry. It mattifies, it hydrates, and it blurs pores. It preps skin for a lasting makeup, and it's impossibly silicone free. Believe it all. Believe it all. It does mattify. It really hydrates. It feels like you're literally just splashing water on your face. And I did notice it does blur where my pores are the biggest, are like right up in here. And it does help. This is really good. And I think it's under five bucks. Under five bucks. And it really does do all of that. So I really recommend this. Now, it says <laughs> it has 25 milliliters in it. Now, I've used this like about four times, something like that. And it's, this is the texture of it right here. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like there's that much actually in the tube itself. But this stuff, it goes on. Now you can barely see it, huh? But the more you rub it in, it just like breaks down and it just feels more and more like water. And it's, it's soft. Like it has silicone in it. So whatever is in this stuff, they found the secret. <laughs> I would definitely pick this up if you're interested in any of those. Hydration, mattifying, or blurring. I would try this. I really would. Moving on, guys. I know this video is probably going to be a very long video. I just want to talk about makeup today. I do. I haven't been on here in like two weeks now. I want to talk about makeup. <laughs> okay. So, moving on. This is a repurchase. I got the shade... Light Sand, it's the Hydrating Elf Camo Concealer. <laughs> I already used one up. I love it. This is a full coverage concealer. I don't have a lot of fuller coverage anything. So this is one and I will continue to repurchase it. I love it that much. So this, I if you actually watched my, let me see here. It was my like uh, concealer, uh, my concealer foundation declutter. I said I need to pick up a deeper shade in this. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Concealer. I did pick up a deeper shade. This one is in light beige. So I will be decluttering the lighter shade that I have because now this one is a lot better. So. This formula is so lightweight. It, it's a medium coverage, very beautiful under the under eyes. This is good. Wet n Wild, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they keep their prices so low and their formulas are just good. They're so good. So 
Highly recommend this one too. Again, the only reason why I went and bought this one is because the other one was too light and that's my doing. So next up we have the Revolution Conceal and Define. I have the shade C4. Looks like this. This Revolution one, it does have quite a big doe foot on it. I think I've only used this one like twice. I have really been wearing the Wet n Wild one quite a bit. And also the next one I'm going to show you, which I have fallen in love with. And I have been using that one almost every single day. But this one, it's nice. It is a medium coverage. Again, it blends out super quickly. Very lightweight. I've been noticing I haven't really been having to powder my under eyes as much. So I've really been loving that. I don't know if it's because of the concealers now that I have been using or what. But I ha I didn't set my under eyes today and I think they look great. So less powder, the better for me. But again, I mean, it blends in. looks great. I mean, very lightweight, medium coverage. So this is a winner too. <laughs> and now this one, this is like the all-star. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This stuff, again, this is the one that I have been wearing almost every single day. I have been reaching for it and reaching for it over and over again. It does have like a little pump to it. Pump some out. I don't even do a full pump. I have the shade Vanilla. And I like the little packaging. I really do. I like the pump style. I love that you can see the product. I love the baby pink up on top, obviously. <laughs> and this is the texture of it right here. And it is very much a serum. It's very, very lightweight. It, again, I do not have to set it. So I don't, I'm okay with that. <laughs> but it's very lightweight, like I've said 8 million times now, and it just looks natural. It is a lighter to medium buildable kind of coverage, but it just looks super, super natural, and I love that. I don't want it to look like I have a whole bunch of makeup under my eyes. So this, it, it makes you look awake without looking like you have makeup on. So for that, this is a winner in my books. <laughs> Moving on. I know a lot, of, I'm kind of all over the place. It's okay. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. I have the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Look how gorgeous this is. This is so pretty. Now, depending on where you put your brush, obviously, it's where you're going to get the pigment. I am wearing it today, and I did keep more up on this side where it's the deeper but I think it's stunning the smell of it it smells it's not a harsh fragrance but it smells so soft and delicate like if that even makes any sense I really like the smell of it but just looking at it it's it's stunning it really is and you can go obviously lighter you can go deeper I'm going to go ahead and do a swatch. It is kind of powdery, but I would just go very light handed. You see, like, it's just so pretty. It's definitely like an everyday kind of blush for me, but it is buildable, but it does pack quite a bit of pigment. As you see, and I barely touched it. I mean, it does have quite a big, a bit of pigment to it. So I would go light handed with it. I don't even know if I said what it was. It's Mavi Max. So this has, let me see here, net weight 4.5 grams. So quite a bit. And I just, I think this is beautiful. I love Physicians Formulas, like powders. I think they really know how to make them look so intriguing. So I like it. It's smooth, almost like... A satin kind of finish to it. It's not completely matte, but it is matte. Does that make any sense? Sure, why not? Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, now this one, 
I think I am going to do a video on this is the Plain Jane Remastered by Adept Cosmetics. The packaging is so pretty. I love the pink. It does have a mirror in it. And if you don't know, Adept does, look at these shades. Look at these shades. They do multi-chromes, duo-chromes, sparkly, beautiful, just oh, stunning shades. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see all the shifty goodness. Anyways, so I am going to do a video on this, so we're not even going to swatch it. I'm going to do its own little separate video. I did get the Elf's Cookies and Cream Primer. Looks like this. It smells delightful. It makes me want some like cookie dough ice cream. It's just like their other primers. If you like Elf's Putty Primers, you'll love this one. <laughs> and it's got an amazing scent. So it's hydrating. It It's mattifying. It's gorgeous. I have all of their primers, so I love them all. I also did pick up from the Cookies and dreams collection there let me see here cookie crumble lip exfoliator it looks like this this is actually what it looks like this again smells absolutely amazing it makes me want some ice cream and it works very, very well. Super affordable. Again, you guys know if you've seen any of my videos, I love Elf. So I had to pick up something from the collection. The palette didn't really scream to me. So I want to try something. And I know I love their primer. So decided to pick those two up. Now Essence did come out with eight new eyeshadow palettes. And they are little mini. I picked up four of them and I am going to do a video on these as well. I'm going to do basically for each palette I'm going to do an eye look. Um, I picked up the four that are more colorful. They do have like a nude, a taupe, yada yada yada. But I picked up the I like it mob it mob it and these names are adorable. <laughs> Completely adorable. These have um, let me see here. 4.5 grams, 0.15 ounce product. This is the first one right here. Again, the I like to mob it, mob it. And these do have mirrors in them. We have Dancing Green, which looks like this. I think the packaging is super cute. And I think the color stories, they're just, they're great. They're super great for travel. Again, just showing you these. We're going to do a video all on its own for these. Um, we have right here, Coral Me Maybe. Which looks like this. And Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> Makes me giggle. And here is this one. So again, make sure you're subscribed because we're going to do a video on those guys. Next up, <laughs> we have quite a bit of ColourPop. I got all of these liners. <laughs> it came as a little bundle. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch a couple of them. I know this video is probably getting pretty long, but... Ooh, okay. We're going to go ahead and swatch this one right here, which is, oh, geez, Prance, maybe, Prance. Look at that. Now, I did get one liner from them, and I fell in love, and I needed more, so I picked up more. <laughs> we have this one right here. Icebreaker. Look how gorgeous these glide on. And the pigment is just, it's great. It really is. And then we have this one right here, which is Catsuit. 
So if you are looking, look at that one, boom. If you are looking for something that is affordable, that glides on, you can blend, will stay there for a long period of time. These are the way to go. And they have every color imaginable. So definitely recommend these. I think they're great. As well as if you know anything about their lippy pencils. Yes, I got a vault of these ones as well. Because why not? <laughs> I am finding myself reaching more and more and more towards lip pencils. When before, I, I never really used them. But these are creamy. They go on so nice and smooth. This one is Brink. Nope, I still have right there, Brink. And then they have multiple um, vaults, depending on what kind of, if you want nudes, if you want the pinks, you know, so on and so forth. This one right here, BFF3. I know the BFF ones I really do gra gravitate to. They have BFF, BFF1, 2, yada, yada, yada. And then they just released these, the Glowing Lips. And I got the shade Cockatoo. Now, I really wanted to try this formula before I picked up more shades. But as usual with just about every ColourPop product there is, I fell in love. <laughs> so this right here is the actual lip product. I think it's cute. It's got little stars on it and stuff. Looks like this. Let me see here. Look at that. It almost feels, I did have it on, but it almost feels like a lip balm, but looks like a lip gloss. So I, and I love this shade. And you can pair it with like basically any lip liner you want and it looks great. So I think it's definitely like a my lips but better kind of shade. So I really like this shade. I'm definitely considering picking up more. I really, really like the formula. The packaging says so yummy, so comfy on it. That is cute. That's cute. Okay. Anyways. Definitely recommend these new lippies from ColourPop, the Glowing Lips. Really good. Definitely want to try out more shades of those. Along with more lip products <laughs> from ColourPop, I did get the lip creams. I got the shade BB Spice and the Rachel. I have one right here, the BB Spice. It looks like this. I really do like the packaging. I think it looks like sleek and luxe. I really just like it. And I will go ahead and here is the doe foot. I really, really like that doe foot. I just think it is absolutely perfect for the shape of your lips. So I know I got lots of swatches going on, but look how beautiful that is. I think it is stunning and it, it feels like silk when you are applying it it is so smooth so smooth and then this right here is the shade the rachel again i don't know how they got these so smooth but even after they dry down this one here it's a little bit more pinky absolutely stunning stunning but even when they dry down they they're not transfer proof or anything, but they still have a very soft texture to them. So I really enjoy these. I'm glad I picked them up. I did pick up a new shade of the NYX Butter Gloss. You, I'm sure if you're into makeup at all, you know how these are. But I did pick up the shade Madeline. I have, uh, what is it? Creme Boulet or something? Creme Boulet. And it, that is like my go-to shade. So I wanted to pick up a new shade. So pretty. You know, the standard NYX butter glosses. And then 
on my last haul, I did pick up two, they were lip products from L'Oreal. And the smell of them just kind of, I don't know, it made me not really want to reach for them, but they were beautiful when they were on. They were a sheer lip stick, but they looked more like a lip gloss and felt more like a lip balm. So also in that line that they released, they also released actual glosses. Now these, this, the fragrance of them is not even close to how the other ones were. And the pigment on these are so extreme. I got the shade 40 Blissful Blush. This is the more pinkier one. Look at the pigment of this. Like, it is extreme. If you throw like a lip liner on and then this, I mean, you're good to go. You are good to go. And they do have a scent to them. Like a, it's almost like a perfumey scent. But these are not even close to how that other one was. The other ones are just boom in your face. These, I really don't notice as much when I apply them. So this right here, again, is the shade... 40 Blissful Blush. This is the applicator. It's very strange. Different. <laughs> Different. And then I got the shade right here, which is more of like a brownie mauve. 120 Rose Harmony. And again, I have been reaching for these quite a bit. And that right there is that shade. These are gorgeous. I love how they wear. They're not sticky. They just glide on so effortlessly. They're great. They really are. And now L'Oreal, they are a little bit more on the pricier side of the drugstore, but if they're worth it, they're worth it. <laughs> so that's going to be it for my haul video for the last like two weeks. I do have more stuff coming in, so I will update you as I get the stuff in. But if you did like this kind of content, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It does help me out so, so much. And make sure you are subscribed before you leave. Help me on my journey. <laughs> Let's see what we can come up with, guys. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by.